Hi, it is Mr. Lum, and normally I teach math and chemistry, and I'm going to be doing something a little bit different, and we're going to learn a little bit about research. And so I did a research topic right here, and a little bit of real-world math, and I was going to look at stock forecasts and their accuracy. And so I started this project. And what did I end up finding? That I'm not going to be looking at stock forecast accuracy. I'm going, my new project is what is going on with CNN. And I'm going to tell you why I decided to change that and, and what is going on with CNN. So the first thing is, is that uh, there's a lot of amateur investors out there. The middle class are looking to invest money and uh, they're putting their money into the market. They don't really know how to put their money into the market. So millennials turn to their favorite tool and that's Google. They look up stuff. So they heard about Facebook stock. And so they say, what is Facebook stock prediction to see if it is a good thing to invest in? After that, they find out uh, from here uh, that 44 analysts offer a 12 month, uh, 12 month price forecast for Facebook. And so they click on this thing and they see this right here. They see that the stocks, the highest prediction says the stocks are going to go up 19.9%. The lowest prediction says it's going to go and hit, uh, and you're going to lose 30%. The median prediction, says that it's going to be 7.4 percent okay and this is based on 44 analysts who have given their professional opinion and uh and they've come up with what their prediction is for facebook stock okay so the next question is how accurate are these analysts so i googled it are cnn forecasts accurate now, one thing that I found is in Reddit post from November 1st, 2018. Now, in the Reddit post, a lot of people have their opinions. A lot of people said there is no uh, accuracy to this. Some people say there's a little bit of accuracy. Okay, everyone has their opinion. But one person posted this picture from 2018. Uh, so they posted from November 1st, 2018. And they were just wondering how much should they put into these stock forecasts? Like, are these stock forecasts accurate? And this stock forecast right here was Facebook from 2018. And what we can see from this stock forecasts back then, the highest person said 81% increase, a 13% decrease, and a median of 31% increase. Okay. Or in other words, at that time, the uh, Facebook stock was $151 and they were saying, we feel that it's going to go to $200. That was the median prediction. Okay. So we then have some old data that we can do and uh, take an, an analysis of the analysts. So what I did right here was I went to Facebook's uh, stock and I looked at like for the last five years and I looked at that old Reddit post said it was from November 1st, 2018 right here. And at that time in November 1st, 2018, the stock was worth $151.79. Now, in November 1st, 2019, the stock was worth $193.62. So how accurate was this analyst? Was the median? So here we can plot the graph and we see that that is what the real accuracy of it came out. And it's very, very close to the median prediction uh, back in 2018, okay? So it was very, very close. So not only is it inside this range, 
So the prediction is inside the range right here, but it's also very, very close to the median. So this would have turned out to be a very, very good forecast for CNN. So, however, the sample size is one. So not exactly statistically uh, evident there. The range was so large, okay? This range right here and the person's ability to be somewhere and hit between 81% growth and minus 13.7% growth, it's very, very easy for them to hit within that range, okay? It's kind of like hitting, uh, hitting the target, you know, in this kind of scenario right here. So my original plan for this whole research kind of project was to find stocks that many analysts have predictions of. Okay, find stocks with tighter ranges. I didn't want them to have such an easy target. Track the stocks for a year to calculate the accuracy of the analysts and compare to other websites to see which website has the best predictions. However, in doing my research, I started to notice, notice something very, very interesting. So at first I started looking at some stocks like Alphabet stock, which is Google, uh, 40 analysts with a median prediction of 10.2% growth. Uh, Tesla stock has a huge range. Some people saying it's going to have 92% growth. Some people it's going to have 90% loss. And uh, other people are saying that it's going to, the median is 8%, 8 8.8% um, loss. Okay. So I looked at Apple, slightly tighter range, 30% growth as the high, 30% loss as the low, median 9.8. Okay. So everything was good there. I was collecting lots of data and kind of compiling it all on this big spreadsheet. But then I looked at some other companies like Alibaba, 54 analysts. So it had lots of analysts had a very, very tight, tight range. But if you look at the numbers right here, max growth, the highest growth, the highest range was 742% growth. The lowest that the analysts of the 54 analysts that were looking at it, the one that said that, you know, that was being the most modest was saying 459% growth seemed like a very, very good investment, I guess. And the median was 620%. Okay. I then looked at Pin Duo Duo. They also had, uh, as the high, a thousand percent growth, over a thousand percent growth, and the low was 200% growth. The median was almost 600% growth. Baidu. High, 800% growth. The low, 450% growth. JD, high, 870% growth. The low, 218% growth. So, are analysts really, really bullish for Chinese companies? All those companies that I had there on the previous slide were Chinese companies. Or is CNN hacked? So, Let's take a look on the first thing. So here, here's a, an example of Pin Duo Duo. Now, on CNN, they say that the high is 1,000% growth and the low is 200% growth. However, on this website right here, Investors Observer, they said the high is 12% growth, the median it's going to lose 4.9%. And the low says it's going to lose 57%. Okay. So are analysts really, really bullish for Chinese companies? Well, the answer is no, because on other websites, it doesn't seem like those analysts are being very bullish 
for Chinese companies. They don't think that they're going to be growing. Same thing for Alibaba. Uh, again, CNN, huge growth, investor observers, kind of normal-ish. 20% growth is what they're saying. Uh, on average, 4.8%. Baidu, same thing. Investors, observers has kind of a lot more reasonable estimates rather than saying 650% growth. Investors of Server says 13. JD says Investors of Server says it's going to have a loss. NEO, same thing. CNN says the median is going to be 383%. Investors of Server says it's going to lose 12%. Best, now both of them have them to be very, very bullish. Okay, so in other words, bullish meaning they're going to be increasing a lot. However, on Investors Observer, the highest estimate says 137% growth, okay? The lowest estimate on CNN says 689% growth. So there are no overlap between Investors Observers and CNN Business. There's no overlap between these two price predictions. I didn't just look at investors observers. I also looked at tip ranks and I looked at several other websites as well. But if we take a look at this one right here, same thing, very, very normal kind of growth out of it. Okay. And, but, CNN says Alibaba is going to have just huge growth. Tip Rank says it's going to be, if we zoom in right here, Tip Ranks says that the high, the stock will go up to $360. And the lowest prediction for CNN says $1,732. There is no overlap at all. Not even a little bit. So, what is going on there? Now, is this anomaly with uh, other companies as well? And it seems like this anomaly is only with Chinese stocks. I went to Toyota, I looked at American stocks, I looked at Canadian stocks, um, and it seems like that all of the ranges are similar. So here's one where Investors Observer has a very, very tight, tight range for Toyota with 18% growth. 18% um, growth is the lowest, 22% growth is the highest. Uh, CNN has a very large range again, 33% growth uh, or a 22% loss. But what's important to understand here is that Investors Observers is completely within the range of CNN. Unlike the other ones, there is zero overlap uh, at all with those, with those uh, predictions. So what are the possible outcomes of this? Are all analysts bullish on Chinese stocks? The answer is no, okay? It seems like that other websites are not completely bullish on Chinese stocks, just CNN. So the next conclusion could be, was CNN hacked? And then if so, who hacked them? Were they hacked by companies to create more buying, to create buying about uh, uh, get people uh, in the middle class to buy those stocks? Were they hacked by investors uh, to create more buying? Okay. Um, to create buzz around those stocks, or were they just simply hacked by hackers because they had nothing better to do and they just wanted to do that and just kind of create a little bit of chaos? Or maybe CNN was not hacked. Maybe CNN or the editors for CNN have a position in the market. Uh, maybe CNN is sponsored to give high predictions. I don't know. So, the takeaway message from this is if you're going to be looking on the internet, 
You should be researching your topic. You should be looking for multiple sources. You need to be critical of data. And what I mean by critical of data is not to be, it's good to have skeptical, uh, be, have skepticism, but to also look at where are your sources getting their sources from. Uh, I tried to look at that for CNN. I tried to look at who are their analysts? Why are their analysts predicting so high? And they do not have that kind of information. So I looked and tried to becoming an analyst and uh, I couldn't figure out how to become a CNN analyst. So this is the kind of takeaway message that I want you to learn when you learn how to research your data on the internet. And uh, hopefully you can be a little bit more computer savvy after this.